What's up guys, Black Rose Duelist here, and today I have a deck profile of Shiranui. Um, now, this deck profile I was going to do about two or three weeks ago, but then the ban list came out, and uh, the ban list can kind of really help this deck, because Gold Sark is at three, uh, so that can really help the deck. I mean, you can, I, I don't know, I guess if you're playing more of a dark version of zombies and you're playing uh, more zombie masters and goblin zombie, plague spreader, uh, and three Unizombie. I guess you could play three Allure, uh, but this build is more focused on the Shiranui's than it is just zombies as a whole, so, uh, Allure won't help you too much, but I do think Gold Sarko really, really helps you, and I'll explain it once I get to it, but, uh, the deck is very, very fast. It's very furious. I was gonna make it in real life, but this is, like, what, like, $60 now? Um, I don't know. I think the deck's good, but it's not the deck that, to beat, it's not tier 1 or anything. Uh, I think it has a good matchup against BA and a good matchup against... Uh, I don't, I'm trying to think, like... I guess it has a good matchup against Pendulums. I, it doesn't have the best Blue Eyes matchup, in my opinion. I mean, it, it's mediocre. It doesn't have a great Blue Eyes matchup, but it doesn't have a bad one. Um, that one's kind of up in the air. But I do think it has pretty good matchups this format. Uh, it's nothing... Like I said, it's nothing like fantastic but it is a really good deck in the way that no one's gonna expect it for one half the people won't even know what your deck does and uh, they really won't expect 5600 beaters coming out of nowhere uh, locking your opponent with the crystal wing synchro dragon and a clear wing synchro dragon in the same turn or even first turn two cypher and omegas they're gonna have to play with two card or uh they're gonna have to play with two less cards in their hand um I just love cards like Psy Frame Omega, uh, just like uh, Wind Up Rat was, or uh, sorry, Wind Up Rabbit. Uh, the fact that you can banish it whenever it gets targeted or whenever anything really happens, and then you also get to banish the opponent's card from their hand, it's really good. Um, the problem with this deck is, uh, now that Blue Eyes is very popular, uh, Omega can be kind of bad because obviously you can get into first turn Blue Eyes, like, one card like that. So, uh, that's the only problem that Omega has now, uh, with the increase of Blue Eyes, but the deck basically, it's Centric Force is summoning Psyframe Omega and other level 8 Synchros, and then you can also go into, uh, it's things like Leo and Black Rose and stuff like that, but the main premise is summoning rank or level eight synchros. Uh, the reason for that is Solitaire is ridiculous. It is a first turn one card uh, synchro, and what you do is you summon Solitaire. Let's present this to the field. You play Solitaire. You tribute it to summon Unizombie. Unizombie activates its effect, sending Mizuki to the graveyard. Unizombie is on the field with uh, level four now. You then get to banish Mizuki to summon uh, Solitaire from your grave. Unizombie's a level 4 tuner now. Solitaire is a level 4. Synchro for a level 8. The only issue here is it can't attack unless it's a zombie, but hopefully you're going first uh, and you can just play Cypher and Omega. If not, you want to go for attack, you're going to have to play uh, Shiranui uh, Ikuzangami. I said that really badly. Um, Ikuzagami? I don't know. You'll correct me in the comments. But let's go into the deck profile. I play one Zombie Master. I was considering playing two. Uh, it was kind of up in air what the final slot was. Every like build I made of this right now ended up with 39 cards. So I was like, uh, do I add Goblin Zombie? Do I add a second Zombie Master? I ended up adding a Pot of Desires, which I think is a good choice. It's like playing one Pot of Greed or uh, one Monster Reborn. It's good if you draw it. You don't need to draw it. You're not always going to draw it. It's good if you draw it. You don't want to play two or three because if you play it twice, especially in a deck like this, it's really not going to help you. Uh, but there are some Banish capabilities you can do with this because you have so many Banish Reliant cards. So, I mean, it's good. Um, so you have uh, Bushy. Uh, you can Banish a Zombie from the Grave, making it 2,400. Uh, this is pretty good for a one-turn normal summon. Uh, also, the fact that when it's banished, you can target a sheer Nui from the graveyard and add it to your hand. Uh, you have lots of ways to get it banished, uh, so it just happens a lot. I play. I got this idea from someone. I got a lot of ideas from other people, not lying. Uh, I added a lot of some of my own unique ideas, but um, 
the two card uh light storm engine it's decent uh i run into some issues uh but i don't want to play lila because back row isn't that prevalent right now and drawing the lila can kind of be bad in this because you have a lot of cards you normal summon so having to waste your normal summon on a lila doesn't really help but if you have nothing else but a raiden uh, normal summoning Raiden, sending two, and then sending two at the end phase, you're probably li likely to get a zombie in grave that's going to help you. Uh, so it's really good. Uh, also, the main idea is that it is a level four tuner. Uh, so just playing it, banishing Mizuki from the grave, summoning a level four, very simple, very easy, going to another level eight. Uh, triple Mizuki, this is the MVP of the deck by far. Um, the fact that uh Cyframe Omega, these two cards if you don't get if you don't get what's going on here, you banish Mizuki to summon a zombie from your grave. During your opponent's standby phase, you can target a, a banished card and return to the graveyard. So just one Mizuki, say this thing lasts five turns, you get to use Mizuki five times, meaning that you're gonna get five special summons off this thing alone. So, and that's likely, too, because if anything happens to Omega, you can just banish it, and then it comes right back. So, it really gets crazy using Mizuki. Uh, Chief Priest, when he's summoned, you can special summon a Shiranui from Hand or Graveyard. Uh, you can really get some first-term plays going on there. Uh, Swordsman is the only one that I'm kind of iffy on playing even one of it. Uh, the good thing is, if it's sent to the graveyard for a single material, you can add a Shiranui from your deck to your hand, which is pretty good. It's also 19, or sorry, 1,000. I thought it was 19. I couldn't read that well. It's 1,000, but it is a level 4 zombie, which can't really hurt you. Uh, if you were to take out one card of the deck, it would either be maybe the One Desires, the One Plague, Swordsmith, or One Swallow Sword. If you had to take out just one card, it would be one of those four. Uh, oops, what did I just do? I think I, I got rid of a sword's swallow. Jeez, uh, technical difficulties, folks. I'm just kidding. Anyways, uh, yeah, it's crazy. I already explained solitaire. Wish it was uh, still called priest, or is it sage? I don't understand solitaire, but yeah, I still like it. Um, the name, I'm talking about the name here. But the card is and freaking fantastic, okay? One card, level 8 synchro, crazy. You know, zombie is great. Don't play three of it. It'll get cloggy. I draw two of it as much as I do with just playing two. Um, drawing two of it is never good. Uh, you almost want your deck more than you want in your hand. So, um, yeah, I, I think three is too much. But two is good. Perfect. Um, cursed uh, Shiranui Katana. Uh, this one's really good. It's like a uh, Bayou. Or, yeah, Bayou Turbo. Yeah. Uh, you can banish it and another zombie to uh, summon a. Uh, from your graveyard to summon a uh, Shiranui from your extra deck, which I just said Shiranui because those are the only ones you have in your extra deck that are zombie. Um, you have one plague. Uh, this is good because if you have a card, like, you don't want to play Drag Down, or you have a. Uh, you have a uh, Charge of Light Brigade that you can't use. You have a Raiden that's dead. You have a card in your hand that's not really doing much for you. Return to the top of the deck, summon Plague, go for a level 6 or level 8. Uh, it's also very good for when you summon Shiranui uh, Katanagami. And then you get to uh, summon Plague Spreader and go into your clear uh, wing single dragon. That's one of the main ways to get into it. One instant fusion to go into the Norden, which is very powerful. Uh, one Book of Life. Any more than this is not good. Uh, it's dead on your first turn because your opponent needs to have a monster in their grave. Uh, one Regeki, uh, because you can OTK pretty easily in this deck. Three drag down. Now, I found this from someone. If I remember their names, I would give credit to them. But it is a pretty great card. I almost said good. I'm going to say great. The reason is Raiden, Charge of the Light Brigade, uh, Gold Sark, Sometimes, even uh, Twin Twisters sometimes desires if you're really getting your deck low. Um, Bushy, there's a lot of cards in your deck that get clogged in your hand because you have to normal summon so much. And because you can only normal summon once per turn, obviously, you get a lot of cards clogged in your hand. And a lot of times, it's going to benefit you to have that card in the graveyard rather than hand. You almost never want a Mizuki in your hand. You always want Mizuki in the grave. 
being to go first turn, summon a level 8, then uh, go uh, Synchro, then getting rid of the last Mizuki, and then drawing another card, then making sure you have a special summon for the next turn is very good. Not only that, but you get to see your opponent's hand. If you're going first, you get to know what you're playing against right off the bat. You get to draw another card, which is going to help you. The good thing with zombies is most of them are better in the graveyard than they are in the hand. So sending them to the graveyard, yes, this card is a minus one, but in the same way, you're almost gaining more things because you want to send some of the deck cards to the graveyard. You want to look what your opponent's hand is, discard the main card they need, and just stuff like that. You know what I mean? So I think it's good. I explained desires. Soul charge, get this card, you win. It's ridiculous. Three gold sark. It's really crazy. I might take this out. It might end up being a one of. It might be a zero of. Gold Sark just went to three, and I'm testing this. Uh, you get effects when you banish your newies. When this card's banished, you need to destroy a card on the field. So basically, when you're playing Gold Sark, you're playing, you're destroying one card on the field, and then you also get this monster back to the hand in two turns. That's pretty good. You also have Solitaire. If you banish this, you can target a Banish Shira Nui and, uh, yeah, Special Summon it. You banish Bushy, su- uh, target a uh, Shira Nui in your graveyard at your hand. Banish this, your Shira Nui's are safe for the turn. Or your zombies are safe for the turn. There's a lot, basically this Gold Sark can turn into one of four different effects. Which is, this one doesn't have one. This can be turned into one of four effects. And then you get to add that card to your hand. Also, I'm sorry, but having Soul Charge is almost an instant win. If I can just pick it and make sure I have it in two turns and guarantee that I'm going to have an explosive comeback no matter what happens, I'm going to take it. Uh, Foolish Burial, obviously good. You send a Mizuki, special on something. Uh, two Charge, I explained that. Two Twin Twister, uh, better than Mystical Space Typhoon in my opinion because you want to discard some things. Uh, Burial from the different mention, this card is OP. You have these three Mizugis banished, return all three, you get three more special summons. Just crazy things like that. Being able to, um, go into another katana, going into all these different plays is very powerful. Swallow Sword is, or, yeah, Swallow Sword. Swallow Sword is crazy. It's just like Fire Lake, but more generic. You tribute a zombie monster, you target two cards on the field and destroy them. Then, you get to banish a Shiranui. You get to banish... Chief and destroy another card. So it's three monsters or three cards. Sorry, three cards to destroy with this one card. Very good. And you can tribute a zombie. It's not uh, every monster in here is a zombie except for uh, Raiden. So, yeah. Um, yeah, just to tribute a zombie, destroy three cards. It's very good. Sound warning. Uh, I mean, you could play Strike over if you wanted to, but I'm sure most of us don't want to spend that money. Uh, Norton, I explained, Leo's good to play if you really need it. Uh, Crystal Wing is good. Uh, very good. Negates spells, obviously. It's really good. And it's really strong. Uh, Shiranui Iku Zamagami. You banish a zombie from your graveyard. It gains its attack. You banish this. It goes to 50. Um, uh, sorry. Yeah, 5,500. Very strong. You can OTK with it. Side from Omega, not only does it is it like a wind up rabbit with banishing a card from your opponent's hand on top of it, it is also a way to return Mizugis in the grave. It's crazy. So our Spark Dragon, Clear Wing Single Dragon, both Black Rose Dragons, um, Shiranui, Katagami, basically for more fodder for Ikuzagami and to go into Clear Wing, or I'm sorry, Crystal Wing. Then you also have Coral Dragon. Castell and Abyss Dweller. And then I also put this in the side. Uh, you might want to play this instead of one of the cards I mentioned. Okay, so thank you. My throat is getting hurt, okay? I've been talking for 14 minutes now. Um, thank you for watching. For more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Uh, make sure to check out the... Um, this isn't ever paid advertisement. Um, whoa, something moved. Make sure to support Next Level Meta Man and Smashing Pump Kid in the Yu-Gi-Oh! YouTube thing, the competition. The Next Greatest YouTuber. 
I love them. I think they're really cool and entertaining. They deserve to be big YouTubers. Okay, thanks for watching. I don't want to make this 15 minutes. See you guys later. Subscribe for more. If this gets 10 likes, I'll do a dual video. Goodbye. Adios. And all that jazz.